Hey Cancer, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Wednesday, January 6th. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. At the heart of your reading, we have Strength in Reverse and the Ace of Presence. Am I strong enough to seize this opportunity? Where are my vulnerabilities? You're assessing the situation and balancing the, the risk versus the reward. Let's see the challenge here. What is Cancer viewing as the challenge? The Ace of Needles. You need more clarity. Um, you're reaching out and you recognize that the universe is going to provide you more clarity. The reversal says it's, it's, you haven't quite put all the pieces together yet, but it's in the works. It's like the universe is reaching out to you with information and you are reaching out energetically to understand you're listening, you're meditating. The pieces are about to come to come together. The pieces are about to come together. Yeah. Sometimes these phrases come out of my mouth and I'm like, <laughs> did that make sense? Okay. In your focus, we have the Ten of Candles reversed and the Chariot reversed. This is releasing a burden, being done with the struggle, and trying to find alignment with your higher purpose. I feel like, okay, part of the, the issue at hand here is that you've just wrapped something else up and you would like a breather. I think you would like a, a little pause before getting, like jumping straight into a new opportunity. Hence the, the reversal of the strength card can be uh, had, like low energy. Like, uh, do I really have it in me right now to seize this opportunity? And this 10 of candles reversed, that's a very fresh ending of something that was challenging or took up a lot of your time and energy. So you're just not quite aligned with this new opportunity at the moment, the lack of alignment in the, the chariot reversed. There's a lot of, mm, that's the other part of it. So inherent in the chariot is this huge burst of momentum that comes along with jumping on board. So if you seize the opportunity, it's going to be full speed ahead. And you're like, I, I just did full speed ahead. I just finished. I just finished. Okay, let's see what led up to this in the recent past. How did Cancer find themselves at this moment in time? We have the High Priestess and the Eight of Needles reversed. Lovely, lovely energy. You did dial in, you did meditate, you did um, connect with your higher self, and you were getting in, uh, intuitive hits that helped you release some negative thought patterns. I think this is tied in with the burden that you've just released. Whatever activity that you were engaged in that was draining, it took a lot out of you. Um, you were, through that experience, you were able to um, stop thinking so negatively. It's like you proved some of those lingering doubts wrong. You proved yourself wrong because you succeeded and you relied on your intuition in order to do so. So that's strengthening your faith in, um, okay, if I trust my intuition, it's, it's gonna steer me in the right direction. Yeah, you had a victory. Victory is accessible all around you right now as the energy of your environment. The Six of Candles tells me that universe is setting you up for success here. I think you're interpreting that as more pressure, though. I do feel this reversed chariot energy as pressure, you, you're, or you're interpreting it that way a bit, a bit. I do think you see the opportunity for what it is, and you are seriously trying to gear up for it. Um... But at the moment, it's like, there's just a lot on the line.
I'll give you an example. Imagine that you are, I'll use an actor analogy. Imagine that you're a brand new actor and you've only done like one role in a local commercial and you have a, an intuitive hit or some sort of inkling or a vision or a dream that feels very um, important to you. So you sense it as like a message from your higher self. And the message goes along the lines of, um, you're going to get a new role and it's going to be in a major motion picture and you're going to win uh, an Oscar. So it's like that commercial that I just booked took a lot of energy out of me and it, it was like, it, I, it was so such a relief when that was over. And now you're telling me that major victory, like some some big scale that's gonna like propel me forward beyond what I was expecting. There's some big new victory. It's like, am I strong enough? Now that's a very extreme example, but I, I like to give extreme examples to kind of set the parameters for the energy that I'm talking about here. There's something big on the horizon and there's a little bit of this counter reaction when you sense what a big opportunity it is. Let's see what comes up in the near future. How does this situation unfold for my cancers? We have the Queen of Candles. Okay. So this is you starting to, um, it, it's the, it's partially the resolution to this energy. You're feeling, I don't know, vulnerable or weak or tired or perhaps lacking in the strength or the fortitude to take on this opportunity. You're questioning it. And this is you feeling motivated and passionate about it and seizing the opportunity it feels uh, it's a okay the queen of candles is at ease she's fiery she's vibrant but it it's not a lot of effort for her she doesn't have to like um gear up emotionally to get out of bed every day and what i love about this is it's saying that opportunity is on uh, that that energy is on offer for you. The opportunity to feel this way is on offer for you. So I, the way that you're headed, the, the way the energies are headed, you'll be embodying more of that energy, more effortlessly self-confident, more um, wanting to take bold steps, trusting in yourself that you're going to be successful, that other people are going to be receptive, because that's the main energy for me as for the Queen of Candles is the way the world perceives her, the way the that her energy is perceived by those she comes into contact with. She, she just is effortlessly alluring. People are drawn to her like a moth to the flame. Like she is the flame and you and the rest of the world are moths. Okay, let's see um, your, um, where are we? Your surprise energy. What is going to influence the situation that Cancer does not see coming? The Knight of Presents reversed. You, there's going to be a change of course here. You might be headed in a certain direction and you're going to be given an opportunity to pause, reassess, and pivot. I think pivot toward this new opportunity. Your hopes and fears, we have the Ten of Needles reversed. This is, can I release the old thought patterns that were holding me back? Am I done with that? It's more hopeful than, than fearful, and that's good. Because you recognize the, the potential pitfall there of slipping back into your old ways. And when, you're, when, you, when you jump on board the chariot, it's like full steam ahead. And you don't, you don't want any, um, any of those thought patterns from the past to be pulled along with you because you've released that aid of needles energy through a lot of intuitive work here. So I, I, I don't see you slipping back into that. 
let's see the resolution of all of this. We have the five of needles. I'm going to, going to clarify this because that's, um, that is conflict. That's a disagreement. Tell me more about the five of needles here. It's also about facing, facing the disagreement, like not shying away from other perspectives. Okay, so clarifying the five of needles, we have the hanged man and the moon. So in order to face these, um, I'm getting that it's more like an internal disagreement, like, like you have multiple thoughts about the same thing. But this is this is stereotypically exhibited as other people disagreeing with you. Either way, you're going to go within. You're going to you're going to be faced with um, dealing with the realm of the subconscious here. So you're going to be able to look at things from a deeper perspective and understand what's going on beneath the surface. You might, this, this opportunity that you're taking might be related to the field of psychology because that's what this feels like. It's um, a chaotic mind or a troubled mind or like disagreements, having to deal with disagreements. It's, it's a challenge of the mind. And then there's this deep dive with the moon into the self-conscious, into the unknown, into that which been that which has been repressed. And the hanged man is this up close study energy. Let me understand this from all angles. Let me analyze it. So I do see this like um, like uh, psychological analysis. So you're either getting involved with going into that profession, or you may be engaging with that process um, as a participant. Let's get you some advice. How can my cancers best make use of these energies for their highest and best good? Don't give up. Nine of candles. Stick with it. You're almost over the hurdle here. It's going to feel like a lot. The nine of candles is um, stereotypically a battle weary uh, soldier who's, you know, tired. He's, um, he's gotten some metaphorical wounds from the, the effort that he's been through. And the message of the nine of wands, candles in this deck, is stick it out because you're almost there. You might not see how close you are to the finish line, but you've a, you've attained certain ground. Like if you think old school armies, like, you know, you, this might not just be old school. I guess I'm imagining it that way. Mm -hmm. um, but when you, when you like take a territory, it's like you've, you've advanced in the territory of life, and you've um, you've taken a lot of territory for yourself, like territory that was yours to be had, and so now you occupy a greater space in your own life, and it's like don't give up the territory that you've gained, and recognize that um, all the battles that you've won, you're almost winning the war here. You're almost to the end of the whole conflict. All right. Cancer. I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye.